Hello students, this is Mrs. Miller, and the purpose of this video is to provide instruction on our nonfiction reading practice that we'll be doing on a regular basis. I'm going to split the instruction up over several videos so that you have an overview of the entire thing and then you can see each of the different pieces. I'll be walking through this first lesson with you so that you know exactly what to do. So first of all, this is our nonfiction reading weekly practice, and this week we're going to be reading about Colin Kaepernick. You can see here what we're going to be reading about, and before we read, I would like for you to watch a video. So what you'll do is you'll copy this link, you can highlight it, right click on your mouse and hit copy, and then go up to a new window here and just paste it and it will take you right to the video that I want you to watch. So here's the article right here and you simply will press play and I don't mind if you watch several videos about the topic. The importance, it's important to watch videos because this is going to build background knowledge about our topic. So you can feel free to watch several of these videos down here before continuing to read. Now the article that we'll be reading, the article that we'll be reading is right down here, but I've also put it in our um, nonfiction reading as well. So it's also right here, okay? So first, watch the videos and then return to our uh, nonfiction reading so that you can see what to do next. Now, one of the things that's very important is to be an active reader. Of course, we have our reading voice and our thinking voice, and we have our distracting voice. We wanna quiet out our distracting voice. We wanna make sure that we're uh, using our thinking voice as we're reading um, so that we can keep track of, of the information. So I'm asking that you use the following annotations to mark the text. When you come across something that you think is shocking, you'll use this icon right here. When you see something that's exciting, you'll put on the exclamation mark. If there's something you love, you'll use this here. If you have a prediction, you can use the brain here or the thought bubble. This is the one that we'll use for something that's hilarious. Something that's funny, not quite hilarious, but funny. Something that's confusing. And then if you have additional thoughts, you'll be able to type them on the sticky note. We'll also be thinking about connections that we make to the text. We'll just think about text to self, text to text, and text to world connections. So in the next video, I'll be reading this passage to you and I'm going to show you how I hold my thinking and I'm just going to move my annotations as I'm reading where I want them. But that instruction will be in the next video. Once you finish reading the entire article, there are several standards-based assignments that you're going to complete. The first one is about text structure. We'll be making sure that we review text structure on a regular basis. For this, you're going to read the passage, and then we're going to be writing. We're going to follow our constructed response format. So you'll read the question and then you'll dra drag whichever you think the answer is, whichever text structure it is, you'll drag it here and then you'll type your answer right there. I'll give further instruction on this lesson in another video. The next one is you're gonna complete a graphic organizer as you analyze the central idea of the text. If you're not sure what central idea is, please copy and paste this URL so that you can uh, watch a video about central idea and supporting details. Here is the graphic organizer that you'll fill out and I will fill this out for you in another video. The next lesson is to write an objective summary. We'll talk more in depth about an objective summary, but I wanted you to see that you'll have a graphic organizer that you have to fill out. You'll fill out each of these and then you'll take some time to write your objective summary right here. The next assignment is questioning the author. And again, we're going to be using our constructed response format. So you'll read something from the text 
and then you'll answer a question. The sentence starters have been listed here for you. You'll just type in your response. Here's another one with questioning the author. It's the same type of thing. After that, we're going to move into tracing and evaluating an argument. You're going to read two different sides of the argument. So you're going to read the side of an argument for what Colin Kaepernick is doing, and then a side of the argument against what he's doing. Now you get to pick a side. You're going to evaluate either the argument for Kaepernick or against him. Now when you write your evaluation, you have to make sure that you include if you agree or disagree with the stance, whether the reasoning used within the argument is sound, text evidence that supports your evaluation, and finally your reaction to what Colin Kaepernick is doing. And this will be the same format that we follow for each of the articles that we read. So you would move over whichever argument you want to evaluate, the one for what he's doing or the one against it, and then you'll type your response. And you have plenty of space here to type, and there's a little bit more space down here to type as well. So those are the assignments that we'll be doing on a regular basis as we read our nonfiction text.